processing it. Hello. Welcome to my live chat. Welcome to the um, performance. My name is Katie Cassidy and I'm going to be doing um, a spoken word performance for you. There'll be some music and this is Mr. Glockenspiel who'll be joining me. Um, the, the show is called Home, an Indistinct Constellation. There's a sign that I made there. Um, I've been doing lots of arts and crafts while in quarantine. And the piece is a performance piece. It's narrative and there's spoken word and there's music in it. And it's written about the theme of this year's festival, which is makes me think of letting go. Okay, so without further ado, I'll begin. And if you do join late, then I hope you can just catch up because um, there's like lots of little snippets to it. I am six years old. A woman, my teacher, her name is Mrs. Hilton, if you must know. She, she asks us to draw a picture. Mrs. Why were they all called Mrs. when I was at school? She says, draw a picture of your home in her thick Yorkshire accent. Well, I finish drawing first and I look around the classroom and I can see all the lunch boxes hanging up on the pegs. Yes, and I'm already hungry seeing all of the lunch boxes hanging up there. Wow, I really wanna eat my white, white bread and cheese, plastic cheese sandwich. But it's only 9 a.m. All the other children are still drawing. I can hear their crayons scratching on the paper. <sighs> like fingernails in the heads of nitty children. Ugh, knit. Suddenly I'm not so hungry. Holly and David are arguing. They're arguing about the red barrel felt tip pen. It's the best felt tip pen in the classroom. Everyone always wants to use it because it never runs out. Mrs. Lane tells them off. She says, stop it, it's not yours, it's not his, it's everybody's. Mrs. Lane is our teaching assistant slash dinner lady slash lollipop lady. And she's an absolute legend. So we are called to the front of the classroom in groups of five and we're told to hold up our pictures of our home. Show off your artistry then, says Mrs. Hilton. And she looks at mine. She stares at it, she frowns. This is what I draw. Home to me, to six year old me is a box, a shape a building, there are no family members, no pets, there are no insides, no windows, no pickled onions and definitely no brookside. Home, you can't get inside my home, but if you could get inside then you wouldn't be able to get outside. It's a trap if you're inside and if you're outside it's an impenetrable place. How interesting, says Mrs Hilton. You're picture looks like an indistinct constellation. An indistinct blah blah, I say. Right, she tries to explain it to me. I don't understand, there's too many words. Right, well, when you look up at the night sky, you'll see lots of stars. Well, technically the stars are there in the daytime, but that's another story. When you look up at the night sky, twinkle twinkles, I say. Twinkle twinkles, she says. That's it. Twinkle twinkles are visible at the night time. So when you look up there, they're making shapes like big bear, little bear, weighing scales. My mummy weighs 10 scales, shouts Holly, and Mrs. Hilton ignores her. Your picture reminds me of that. You see, those shapes make constellations. Suddenly, there's a scream. Mr. Button, the classroom spider, is crawling across the reading corner and all the other children are screaming. Oh, I just sit down and I rip my picture 
because it's rubbish compared to everybody else's and well it's not that good when I get home my mum asks me what did you do at school and I say nothing and I throw my picture in the bin twinkle twinkle in distinct my crayola hands foretold Doors slam and windows smash Lots of shouting tears that splash Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct My Crayola hands foretold Okay, so next I'm 12 years old There is a poster tacked to the court board in the secondary school entrance it says drawing competition. The task is to draw a picture of your home. Since my first picture, we've moved twice. We being me and my mum and my younger brother and sister. Mum's a single mum now. The prize is a family trip to Creeley Adventure Park, the best adventure playground in Devon. It's always been our dream to go, but we could never afford it. So I enter the competition in my head, I've already won. I imagine jumping into the ball pools and feeding the donkeys and also getting all those carpet burns on the death slides. Mm -hmm. <sighs> One month later, the results are out. All the competition entries are placed up in the assembly hall. All along the walls, there are 100 entries. So the art is rated in order of 1 to 100, in order of their excellence, according to Mr Yule. Mr. The judges were always Mr. at my secondary school. Mr. Harrison, Mr. Wedgie, Mr. B. I start at number one. I run into the assembly hall and I look at the winner. It's not mine. It's a massive bigger than our school country park. And I think surely they can afford to go to Creeley Adventure Park. I run up and down, up and down, up and down until I get to my entry, number 97. I stand in front of it and underneath, Mr. Yule has given me feedback. Too confusing and too messy. I don't even understand what it's about. Well, this is what I drew. Home to me. To 12 year old me was a little homemade lasagna. Something warm and filling, something I can make myself. No mom, no dad, just a microwave and mounds of yummy, yummy cheese. Mmm, cheese. I don't know what I'd do without cheese. <sighs> Hashtag I am a suffering vegan now. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct. I think I deserve to win. Shoulders slump and heads look down. Such a stupid class clown. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct. Cheesy pictures, crap shit. Okay, so now I am 22 and vivo in Barcelona. Yes, I'm an English teacher and I am teaching six-year-olds how to speak English. Today's topic is home. We are learning family vocabulary. Casa es home in inglés, I say. I have to draw pictures for the children because Drawing visuals helps them make strong associations with new words. So, I show them this picture. Home to me, to 22 year old me, is a square, a rectangle, a triangle. There are people inside this home, a mother, a daughter, and they are waving outside. 
home has some flowers and some sky and there's a little yellow path snaking to the world outside. This home is different to the other homes. ¿Dónde está tu padre? asks Laura. Some homes don't have fathers, I say. ¿Qué? she says. Some homes don't have fathers, I say. ¿Qué? she says. Some homes, ¿qué? I say, I don't have a dad. <gasps> says Laura. ¿Tu papi está muerta? She thinks that my father is dead. I say, no, 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 no. My, my, my father is not dead, but he is a ghost in my life. ¿Qué? she says. So, I think, what can I do? I have to go to my picture and draw something else. So, I draw a man standing outside. And I draw a top hat on him. I, I'm not sure why I do that. I think I just panicked. Ah, says Laura. Tu papi es Mr. Bean, ah, qué guay. Uh, does Mr. Bean wear a hat? Uh, no, 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 uh, he's not. Mr. Bean isn't my dad. Okay, so I go back to my picture and I draw something else. I draw another house next to that dad and a bag. I draw a bag. A tote bag, a bag for life, something like that. Huh, says Laura. No entiendo. And then Maya speaks. Maya's quite quiet usually. Ah, says Maya. Entiendo. My daddy went shopping too and he never came back. The class is silent. Then Jesus farts and everyone screams. Twinkle, twinkle in the stings. My father is not Mr. B. Um, what was that bit? Propellers, time and landscapes change. Families feel so far away. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct. My father is not Mr. B. Okay, so next. I'm 27 and I move back to England. I meet a man and I fall in love. We move in together. Well, I move in with him and about a hundred of his friends because we live in London and hashtag it's not cheap. Yeah, um, I don't draw pictures of home anymore because he is my home and I put everything into him. Yet somehow I've never felt so lonely and it makes me think about when my mum and my dad first separated and how we were all sad. We being me, my mum, my younger brother and sister. To cheer us up, mum would put us all in the back of her golden Mazda and she'd drive us to the expensive neighbourhood in Torquay. It's called Meadfoot. And the houses are huge, million dollar houses. And we play this game where mum would say, choose whatever house you like. We've won the lottery. We can live wherever. Okay, pick whatever you want and we will live in that house. <sighs> it's such a fun game. It's our game. It's our dream. But home isn't ours. It's theirs. And my home then, it wasn't mine, it was his. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct. I can't live here anymore. Is this your record player? Your mum wants to stay in touch. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct. I'll just take the record player then. Okay, so finally, I'm 32, I'm single, and I've just moved into a new house and I'm unpacking all my boxes. This is the 28th postcode that I've lived in. 
I find a picture. It's a drawing I did when I was a little girl. It's of me. There I am, smiling, very carefree and breezy. <sighs> it makes me think of hermit crabs. Hermit crabs, tortoises, turtles, snails. Little animals that carry their home around with them on their back. <sighs> I'm part of Generation Brent. Home has always been something expensive and material. Home has always been something that I'll never own. In the past, home has been a shape, comfort, food, or the person I was dating. As a creative, a home is something I never felt that I deserved. But when I look at this picture, this very breezy, light and carefree picture, I think about home, I redefine home in my head. I let go of some stuff. What about if home was something else? Home should be where my heart is. Apart from I don't like the word should, so I change it, I say could. Home could be where my heart is. Home is where my heart is. Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct, home is where your heart is. Holding on to something else, trying to be what you are not. How do you draw your home? Are you comfortable in your own skin? Are you? Twinkle, twinkle, indistinct My Crayola hands foretold and that is the end of the performance piece an indistinct constellation called home. It's a scratch piece, it's very new, wrote it for this. So all your feedback would be very greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Morkish Magpie and on Twitter, it's Magpie and Tonic um, and we can engage there. But yeah, I took a class today. I did a som somatic movement with Laura Noel and I loved it. It really sent me into a relaxing dreamlike world. So I'm excited to be doing some more workshops over the weekend. So have lots of fun. Thank you so much and bye.